Hi everybody and welcome to another code quick video. In today's video we are going to be looking at HTML tags. What are they, what do they do and how can we use them? Okay, so let's jump straight into the code editor and start writing some HTML tags. Okay, so the first tag is a body tag. We can see the name body. We can see that it starts with a lesser than sign and ends with a greater than sign. We can also see that my text editor has given me a second tag and this is the closing tag. We know it's the closing tag because we've got this forward slash here and this means closing tag. Okay, so this is one example of a HTML tag and pretty much all HTML tags follow this same format with an opening tag and a closing tag. So let's write some more tags to show you that you can actually nest tags with inside tags. Okay, so if I was creating a navigation for example I may do something like this. So we can see our opening and closing body tag, we can see our opening and closing nav tag, unordered list tag and the list item itself. So HTML tags can be nested with inside each other. You can also see that they are very descriptive. We've got body, nav for navigation, ul for unordered list and li for list item. One of the main reasons they are descriptive like this is to help people that use screen reading software and other types of software which help them navigate the internet. So by using these descriptive terms, the software will know that this is a navigation and therefore there will be links to different parts of the site. So this helps a user navigate the site much better. Okay, so let me show you some examples of um, HTML tags in action. In fact, first I've got this list for you. I'll put the link to this in the description, but this is a list of all the HTML tags. And it also shows you which ones are supported and which ones are not supported by HTML5. Okay, so this is a big list, and most of these you won't use on a regular basis. You tend to use a handful of tags on a regular basis, such as these ones here. And other ones are a bit more obscure, you tend to not use really at all, or you may use them very occasionally. So don't be intimidated by this big list. Um, generally, there are a handful of them, which you'll learn fairly quickly. Okay, now if you go to a website, such as this one, in fact, I've got an example open here, but let's try it on this one. If I right click and go to view page source, um, ah, in fact, I guess they don't allow you to see it. Okay, never mind. Let's go to my original example, which is this one here. Um, we can see the tags in action. So here we can actually see a nav tag. Uh, we can see a H1, which is a heading tag. Um, we can see an image as well. So we can see these tags in action. And we can actually see the opening body tag here. And at the end of the website, there will be the closing body tag. Okay, which is right there. And we can see, that's very tiny for you. Let's try and zoom in. We can see that forward slash there telling it's that's the end in body tag. Okay, so these are HTML tags. Um, they're very basic, but we can add other characteristics to them or attributes, such as a class. Uh, but we won't get into that in this lesson. Um, for a minute, I just want you to understand that these are HTML tags. They generally have, a, have an opening and closing tag. Um, apart from a few, such as an image tag, which is actually self-closing, okay, so it doesn't actually have a, a, um, a closing tag, okay, and then you would say your picture in there, okay. Um, so that's it, so that's a brief introduction to HTML tags. I'll leave a link to the long list of those in the description. Um, please like and subscribe to the channel, um, and I will see you in the next video.